Alexandra of Denmark, a princess with a modest upbringing who became queen consort of the United Kingdom as the wife of Edward VII. Her family was spread across the royal houses of Europe, her brother George becoming the king of Greece and her sister Dagmar becoming the Tsarina of Russia. After her marriage to the Prince of Wales in 1863, Alexandra became highly popular in her new home country. She was a fashion icon of her time and her looks were copied for the next 50 years. Alexandra, Caroline, Marie, Charlotte, Louise, Julia was born on December 1, 1844 at the Yellow Palace in Copenhagen. She was the eldest daughter of her father, the later King Christian IX, and her mother, Princess Louise of Hesse Castle. Within her family, the princess was simply known by her nickname, Alex. Alexandra had a total of five siblings. Many of them would either sit on the thrones of Europe in their own or in their husband's rights. Although her father would eventually become the king of Denmark, this would not happen until after Alexandra's own marriage. Her family were distantly related to the Danish monarchs and did not possess great wealth. This started to change when in 1848, Christian VIII of Denmark died and was succeeded by his only son, Frederick. Frederick was 39 years old at that time and had been married for two times without having any children. It was therefore assumed that the new king was infertile, and what began was the search for a suitable heir to the Danish throne. On May 8, 1852, the so-called London Protocol was held in which major European powers agreed on Alexandra's father as Frederick's heir. It was the Russian Emperor Nicholas I who recommended Christian as a suitable candidate. From that point onwards, the family's lives slowly changed. Christian was made a Prince of Denmark and they moved into Bernsdorf Palace. At this point, Alexandra was already seven years old. Although her father was not the heir to the throne of Denmark, his income did not increase. In their new home, they continued their modest lives. Young Alexandra shared an attic bedroom with her younger sister Dagmar and was taught how to make her own clothes. In addition, she was given swimming lessons and English lessons. Alexandra was chosen as the future wife of Albert Edward, the Prince of Wales, in 1861. She met him for the first time on September 24th of that same year when they were introduced to each other by Edward's sister, the Crown Princess Victoria. It would take another year until the Prince of Wales would propose to Alexandra. The princess arrived in England on March 7th, 1863. Their wedding followed three days later at St. George's Chapel, Windsor Castle. The venue chosen was kind of odd for the occasion and was widely criticized. However, the British court was still in mourning of Edward's father, Albert, who passed away over a year earlier. Only Alexandra's closest relatives were therefore invited. The newlywed couple spent their honeymoon on the Isle of Wight. Alexandra and Edward's first child, Albert Victor, was born in January 1864. She loved her new role as a mother and is said to have been in her glory when she could run up to the nursery, put on a flannel apron, and wash the baby herself. In total, Alexandra and Edward would have six children. All of them were apparently born prematurely. However, historian Richard Hugh rather suggests that Alexandra intentionally misled Queen Victoria as to her delivery date so the Queen would not be present at their births. Alexandra is said to have been affectionate and jolly in private. She enjoyed dancing and ice skating and was an expert horsewoman and a tandem driver. Much to the dismay of her mother-in-law, Alexandra enjoyed hunting. In public, the Princess of Wales was dignified and charming. From 1868 to 1869, Alexandra and Edward made an extensive tour through Europe. They stopped in Greece where her brother was on the throne as King George I. They also visited Turkey where Alexandra became the first woman to sit down to dinner with the Sultan. Back home in England, the couple's main residence was Sandringham Home. Historians cannot agree on whether Alexandra's and Edward's marriage was a happy one. 
However, it is well known that Edward had many mistresses throughout his marriage, while Alexandra is said to have remained faithful. Alexandra's constant pregnancies left her with a permanent limp, and her last one ended with the birth of a son, Alexander, who only lived a day. During the 1870s, Alexandra's deafness, which was caused by autosclerosis, led to her slow withdrawal from public life. After a phase of ill health, Alexandra spent the spring of 1877 in Greece with her brother George. Despite her health, Alexandra continued her duties on behalf of her mother-in-law. According to Queen Victoria, Alexandra fulfilled her duties gracefully and never complained. Alexandra's life was shattered when in early 1892, her eldest son, Albert Victor, passed away. She said, I have buried my angel and with him my happiness. She ordered his room to remain exactly as he had left it. In November 1894, her brother-in-law, Russian Tsar Alexander III, died and Alexandra and Edward traveled to Russia to support her now widowed sister. In January 1901, Queen Victoria died and Alexandra became Queen Empress Consort. The coronation of King Edward VII and Queen Alexandra took place in August 1902. As queen, her duties changed little. At that point, Alexandra already had many grandchildren who she doted on and often looked after. In 1910, Alexandra made yet another visit to her brother in Greece. While there, she received the news that Edward VII was seriously ill. She rushed back and arrived the day before the king's death. During his last hours, she would personally administer oxygen from a gas cylinder to help him breathe. As Dowager Queen and Queen Mother, Alexandra devoted much of her time to charitable causes. She founded the Alexandra Rose Day, where artificial roses were made by people with disabilities and sold in aid of hospitals. After the First World War, Alexandra found some close relatives of her, namely her nephew Nicholas II and his entire family dead. In order to help her sister, the Dowager Empress of Russia, escape from the Bolsheviks, she sent HMS Marlborough to the Crimea. The war left its toll on Alexandra and her health started to deteriorate. A blood vessel in her eye which bursted left her with a temporary partial blindness. Further, her memory and speech became impaired. Lastly, Alexandra died on November 20th, 1925 from a heart attack, aged 80. She was interred eight days later next to her husband in St. George's Chapel, Windsor Castle. Today, many streets which are named in her honor remember the Princess of Denmark who became Queen Consort of the United Kingdom. There is also this memorial of Queen Alexandra at Marlborough Gate which commemorates her.